hi guys today we're going to see what is the purpose of anti-forgery token so uh, here I have a, a sample login page and uh, I return uh, the helper uh, HTML helper anti-forgery token the same thing on posting this uh, form um, I return uh, the attribute added the attribute called validate the anti-forgery token so normally what is the anti-forgery token and it what it's going to does see normally anti-forgery token helps us uh, to avoid the or it will block the mm, cross-platform uh, post see suppose some uh, uh, client or some unwanted uh, user they try to post the data from their uh, server uh, to our server uh, uh, they want to inject uh, the data by using our method see normally if I uh, call uh, account slash uh, login and I post my method it will uh, post the data directly so MEC have that option facility to inject the data but with the help of anti forgery token you can avoid that uh, by posting from the uh, third party site to your site uh, that kind of attack you can avoid so how this is uh, happening in the backend see if you added the anti forgery token uh, MEC uh, it will add a uh, create one value and it will add to the HTTP cookie in a browser and the same value that added in your form submitting in the form also so on submit of the form uh, it will go and check the cookies value and the form submitting the value which is added for the form ID it will check if both is matched then it will allow to insert the data otherwise it will throws the error that it is uh, failed because of uh, it is uh, unauthorized uh, or uh, it is a attack uh, kind of a message you will get it so that is why uh, the anti forgery token helps see normally the login see norm uh, normally uh, I have a login credential uh, of my site uh, of uh, suppose this is the site uh, called one so I have the site one login credential I have a site two. from my site two, I want to authenticate directly see uh, I uh, so uh, that is possible if uh, without anti forgery token because I can directly submit with my credential I can validate and can I can fetch the other uh, data as well so for avoiding that uh, reason so MEC provided the anti forgery token so it will add the value in the cookie and as well as in the form and it will validate so that is what the basic uh, background work of the anti forgery token so if you want to post the data securely not allow the any third party for that uh, particular action you should use the anti forgery token and you need to mention in the action that validate the anti forgery token on validating the anti forgery token it will validate the cookie and the form value thanks for watching the video guys hope you understand what is the anti forgery token so you must add whenever you want the post the secure data inside your application if you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. You have a subscribe button in a YouTube below the video. Thanks for watching the video guys.